It's Loving the Strange with Carrie Jones and Sean Farrar. Loving the Strange, a podcast for weirdos and those who want to be weirder. Embrace the strange. New episodes every Saturday, live streaming Fridays. Loving the Strange. Check us out. Hey! Oh, wait, how are we going to get us both? I don't know, it's all right. My computer's acting up tonight, like. Maybe I need a new one. I don't know. Yeah, but welcome. Welcome to Loving the Strange, a podcast about strange people. Us. We're all so we're both squeezed in in the in the office. Currently we're having technical difficulties on our live podcast. And the technical difficulty is Sean's computer just is making a big black square of nothingness where Sean's supposed to be. Yeah, my computer used to be Carrie's computer, and before that, it was President Nixon's computer. So <laughs> it's a, it's like a hundred pound laptop. Babe, I think you need to get in more. I'm in. No, Your you chair don't. is taking up. It's like a third person. My chair's big. My chair's very large. <laughs> I can't get any closer, man. Hi, D. Hi, D. We can't ignore D because we D's both amazing. got incredible cards from D today out of the random. Thin air. Yes. Oof. And we owe D something. And but that's not my fault. All right. All right. All right. That was great. Thank you, D. D is like a miraculous, amazing human. What a way to make somebody's day. She really made our day. Yeah. D made our day. And that, then. That, Sean's the fact computer that my didn't. kid called me dad for once. <laughs> yeah. It's a perfect day. Yahoo! Except for your computer breaking. Yeah, except for my computer camera. Okay, so. Um, Are you ready to move on already? No, I'm trying to figure out how to do this, baby. It's all right. We can both we, back up. No, you need to get your face in the screen. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, welcome to Loving the Strange. And this podcast is not about computer problems. This podcast is about... What's it about, man? I babe? forgot what it's about. Strange things that to think about. Yeah, strange things that people think about. So for this podcast, we're all going to channel like Matthew McConaughey and just pretend we're completely stoned and or Matthew McConaughey. Right? Uh, I, I'm Matthew McConaughey for sure. And, um, <laughs> and we're going to pretend... Or maybe you not even pretend like to be wowed by the weird facts that people can get obsessed about, or the weird things people can get obsessed about, right? Or just think about, yeah. Yeah. Right? So like um one of those things could be, as I said in our promo, that if you were to smoke the cannabis. Yeah. At sea, yeah, would it be seaweed? Ha! Ha! Of course, it would, especially after you smoked it. It's totally seaweed. I think that's we- like worth a half an hour laugh right there <laughs> if you're high. Apparently, we're not, but like, if you it, like, isn't that weird to think yeah. about? Just your hey, mind turn off the block my light, okay? <laughs> if you lean forward so you're in the shot, I can't, I gotta lean back. See. No, come forward. I'm on a whole different stage. Come Here's forward. Broadway. I'm like Detroit. <sighs> we have a lovely message from Sue, hey, who is on the island somewhere in a boat, but did not come visit me, and I'm very sad. But someday <sighs> we will have coffee together. Yeah. Anyways, you want to hear another one? Oh, yeah. All right. So this is about umbrellas, and this is going to blow your mind. Right? Yeah. All right. Ready? Yes. Okay. So umbrellas were primarily a thing for women when they were created. Yeah. Did you know that? No, I didn't know. All right. So for centuries, apparently, 
they were only supposed to be used by the ladies. Yeah. They were like associated or thought of like as parasols and yeah, yeah, fashionable yeah. things, right? Yeah, fancy that. Yeah, man. Um, and it was like to keep the sun off of their pale, pale skin and their pale, pale skin meant they didn't work in the fields or something if they were white or I don't know. It was like a European thing. Yeah. And then I think a Southern U.S. thing. So oh, come on now. Sorry. I know you're from the <laughs> Southern part of the U.S., but you got to got to own up. So anyways, like so that people thought parasols equal umbrellas equal the ladies. Right. right. And so eventually. In the mid 18th century, those gender things started like to dissipate, and men got to use umbrellas too. Really? Yeah, men umbrellas were considered a ladies thing. Holy crap! I've got to tell you that my mom thought negatively of my father. They divorced, you can tell, um, because Why? he used umbrellas. What? Yeah, that was one of her litany of things. He he drank with a straw and he used umbrellas. Like, dude, he wasn't quote unquote manly enough. It is her. if you're using like a golf umbrella and it's like six feet across, like a table umbrella size. That's know. manly. I don't know. I know that as a kid, I hated umbrellas. Like, they always hurt me. Hey, I got something for you. Okay, I'm ready. Right here. Okay, what is this? It? Is, <clears throat> I'm old. This is my salsa water here. Okay. It's pure salsa water, but as I was making it, I was thinking that doesn't have any alcohol in it, so it's <laughs> unadulterated. But then right. I got to thinking that our youngest kid says adult beverages, so I was like, "Oh, it is. It's unadulterated, like literally. It's not an adult drink if it's just salsa water." Wrap your mind around that. I can't get anywhere near what you're putting down, baby. I forgot to preface that with I'm going to tell my traditional beginning of the podcast joke that you don't get. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're new to the podcast, every podcast, Sean tells a joke, and I just like over uh, my head. And sometimes it's not just a joke. It's a deep, deep thought. Out of conscious being thought. Yeah. And D, D usually gets it. D Harris and uh, John Bell when he's here. But me, no, I don't normally get it. Um, D asked, what if the man is holding the umbrella ah. for his lady? Does that make you not manly? I think that makes you ultra manly, D. Oh, plus, you're holding the lightning rod if it's a real storm. So <laughs> He's putting his life at That's stake. Right. He's at risk. John Bell said, I live in a state with the most rain, and I have never owned an umbrella. <laughs> I think John's in Florida still, right? Or Georgia, oh, yeah. no, Florida. In Florida. And I believe that, John. I don't. I can't envision you holding an umbrella. And you know what? Me neither. You get manly man points from my mama for that, which is ridiculous. No offense, John. But like, what? The only time John would hold an umbrella is if we were teenagers and the rest of us were using tennis rackets to hit rocks in his direction. Huh? I don't know if I want to know about well, that. We didn't do it that way. We just knocked them over the roofs of the two houses, so they landed in random areas. How do we get more face of you in here? More oh, face? there we go. Kiss me. <laughs> no, that'd screen. be some real FaceTime. <laughs> Come on. I'm sorry. Oh, I apologize. There. So hard. See why it's better if we're in different it's rooms. It's so much better if we're in different rooms. Um, Sean, have you ever had an umbrella with no ladies there? Uh, very, very, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if you have, have you? <laughs> I've I've had one riding in the back seat of my truck for like five years, and I've never used it. That's <laughs> and what I've I'm had saying. plenty of opportunities. I'm saying. Plenty. I, I I am born a woman and identify as one, but like I don't. I'm not very into umbrellas. Oh, Kara's a raccoon girl. Anyways, I'm not very into umbrellas. Huh? You're no, a raincoat girl. I am a raincoat girl. Like, like I don't know. Fashionable it's, raincoat. Yeah. Okay. Sean's what? making fun of me, right? No, now. I'm not. I don't. You're not wearing the Gloucester Fisherman's yellow coveralls in parka. I do have one. And fisherman. So hat. my raincoat is uh, left over from a very old man who died a really long time ago, and he was. What? 
Yeah, my raincoat is a big red raincoat from Ned Rendell, who was oh, like Ned. a doctor and a lovely environmentalist, an adorable gentleman, and I somehow ended up getting his raincoat when he died. No wonder you won't get rid of that thing. I won't get rid of it. I didn't that. know that's why it's you loved it. The least fashionable raincoat that no, has it's ever fine. existed. It's, it's, fine. it's red. It's red. <laughs> it's really ugly. It's really, really ugly. I D says that she has an umbrella, but she doesn't often wear use one, I think. And uh I don't I don't know why. I break them. It's too much hassle. There's a lot of hassle. Yeah. Remember when Donald Trump, when he was president, he like couldn't get the umbrella closed. And I don't actually remember that, but everybody made fun of him. I, I was like, almost understand it. I could relate to that moment, yeah. honestly. Like, easy to I was like, I would, like, I would have just handed it off to the Secret Service and said, "Close this, bitch." Oh, sorry. <laughs> Are we gonna have to be explicit now? Yes. Damn. So you're my Secret Service agent. That's what I do for all. Hey, the not on the lair, not on like, the air. Like, I always just hand them off to you. Like, Shawnee, can you yeah, take she care does. Can of you open this can for me? Yeah. How about this bottle of wine? Can you put the hot thing in the hot oil so I don't get burned? What? I said I had to put a three bottle per night limit on you for the wine opening. Such a liar. He's such a liar. Um, so, D has a maroon and a green raincoat. Carrie's is just about maroon. It's a dark red. It is red. pretty. It's a dark red. We might have similar raincoats. And I got a green one. What? Stunning. Mind blown. I... Holy crap, D. Sean, do you want to share a mind blowing fact? Yeah. I, I got one right here. This is the word podcast ever. I'm so sorry, everybody. If a fly loses its wings, is it now a walk? Yes, that's amazing. I only just got that. Because <laughs> it can't fly anymore, baby. I got it now. And it won't make the annoying buzzing noise either. My It'll be a silent friggin' walking bug with a bunch of eyeballs. <gasps> that's crazy. Let me tell another one. All right, you tell another one, but I'm putting my hat on. All right. <laughs> Nobody will enjoy this but me. If you moonwalk on the moon, are you just walking? <laughs> are you just walking? That seems like such a dad joke. Are all hey. of yours dad jokes, baby? What? Are all of yours dad jokes? I don't know jokes? you gave them to me. I did, because he didn't do the research this week, and you can tell. If it rains on a sun... <laughs> Come on. I didn't... Never mind. <laughs> if it rains... <laughs> I've been cleaning litter boxes, doing dishes and laundry. I, I put them to work. If it <laughs> rains on a Sunday, does that mean that it's now rain day? I don't get that one. Sunday? Sun? Oh! Rain? Rain day? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a uh, commercial time out here. I feel like my IQ is lowering. Every <laughs> the more you hang out with me, yeah. love. Oh, gosh. It goes down more and more. Oh, my gosh. More. All right, so I have one. Pretty soon, I'm going to buy you a uh, slingshot or a BB gun. And do what with it? I don't know. We'll shoot out some windows or something. What? Why would you do that? Make you, get you lower. If you sh use a slingshot what or a you BB just said, gun, your, it makes you... Your IQ gets lower and lower the more you hang out with me. So I know, but I don't know uh, the just, correlation. Yeah, because it's so stupid. Your IQ is automatically down. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Right. Always. So, did you know? I did. <laughs> I really like Didn't it when see you're that in a coming, dude. Room. What? It's so much easier when you're in a different room. I know. I'm really accustomed to this. Usually we're just not live. Can you talk to everybody about, like, your desk behind us, honestly? My desk is looking good. It's got a whole bunch of... Not your books on it. <laughs> Look at how messy it is. I can't point behind my head. That's crazy. Everybody thinks you're so neat. Look at how messy it is. They don't know they really I'm not are. neat. Ah, there's no neatness in this house any longer. That's not true. I know. You're always coming up around behind me picking stuff up after two weeks. No, I meant like if I leave something in oh, place. <laughs> all right, going back on topic. Uh, yeah, let's get back on topic podcast before you I get apologize. mad at me. Come on, right. baby. So, Be a good sport. What? All right, so 
if someone tells you, hey, Sean, yeah. you're sweating like a pig, man. <laughs> I can relate to that back in the day. But did you know yeah. pigs don't sweat? I did know that. Why? Yeah. How did you know that? I don't know. I guess it's just something you pick up when you kill them and stuff. No. <laughs> don't tell people that. What? So Sean had a past life in Florida where he did? What? Hunted hogs. Hunted hogs. And yeah. Did John Bell do that with you? No, I don't think he ever accompanied me on the hog hunt. Did you know that in ancient Macedonia, during the time of Alexander the Great? I can tell you right now that I did not. Okay, let me finish. Ready? Yeah. In ancient Macedonia, <laughs> in the time of Alexander the Great, you weren't considered a man. Yeah. I had quotes for that. You weren't considered a man until you killed a wild boar. Yeah? Yeah. That's cool. So have you killed a wild boar? Oh, yeah. Are you a man, Sean? Well, that's not how you determine it down in Florida. <laughs> how do you determine it in Florida? You don't kill the boar. No, never mind. That's not hobby. But <laughs> I wish anybody that listened to this and they can't see the video, I wish they could. <laughs> So Anyways. they could see your messy desk? No, so they could see your face when I tell a good joke. <laughs> Just sometimes I can't believe it. Believe what? That you're married to me? Yes. So uh, Dee said that the reason that piggies don't sweat is probably related to the fact that they lay in the mud to keep cool. Yeah. Keep it cool and off that skin. And Sean. What? Steve Boucher said, is the desk for all his Bigfoot research? Yes, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, research it is for doing whatever Carrie tells me to do. Yeah. No. Which is often Bigfoot research. Yeah. She's like, here, look up this video. Tell but, me if it looks real. And the answer is always, no. 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 <laughs> that's a guy in a ghillie suit. No. That's a guy in a Bigfoot costume. No. Bigfoot wouldn't get caught on camera. He'd just make himself invisible. <laughs> so D said that pigs lay in the mud to keep cool, and that's absolutely true. And one of the reasons that they they lay in the mud to yeah. keep cool is because you they don't sweat, and that's how they have to do it. It's kind of like our dog Gabby, according to our veterinarian Alan Toothaker. <laughs> dog, why are you laughing at his Just thing? Just he's wrong. Yeah, Alan is now outed for being potentially wrong. Dogs do actually sweat a little bit, but they don't sweat enough, really, to fully regulate. Hey, I'll tell you what, our dog's party is a sweater. You finish up, let me tell you about this. I'm sorry to interrupt there. I'm sorry. Interrupt My apologies. I'm so sorry. You just get so excited. I do, All right. I do. So anyways, according to Alan Toothaker, doggies do sweat. And but they don't sweat enough to regulate. They're not like Sean. <laughs> and, and um and uh. I sweat at sixty five degrees. Exactly. He kind of does. does. And anyways, so the dogs, um, our dog Gabby digs a hole and tries to like lay in the dirt and the earth to try to cool herself down too. That's right. Yes, a does. lot of herding, same shepherding same dogs thing. do that. What? A lot of dogs do that. Yeah, yeah. But Sparty sweats. He sweats like a mofo. Like sometimes we'll Why take him for a walk and he'll be, he'll run a block and all of a sudden his his fur just has a glisten on and then a glisten on the tips and then in the winter time the same thing. If he's active out when it's below freezing, his he'll get a frost all over his fur. Don't tell me he doesn't sweat. I don't know if that's sweat or not, but it's pretty cool. I always thought it just made him feel magical. He sweat. Oops. Sweat on Sparty Dog is magical. John Bell said, you're a man when you killed the hog with a knife and no gun. And that's exactly true in ancient Ma um, Macedonia. No, because it's they true had in no today's guns, world. Too. I mean, that's how you poach hogs in the middle of the night on somebody else's land because you don't want to have the gunshot. So, do people do that? Oh, yeah. You use dogs and the dogs catch the hog. I don't want to go into the details, but you know, because snitches get stitches. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I just want to apologize to everyone for this. What podcast? Dee's dog Daisy does what Gabby does and goes. All smart dirt. dogs dig a hole in the. 
I think Sparty's not a sort. I think D probably knows this, but like if you live down south, every dog digs a hole. You think Sparty used to dig a hole yeah. in the south? Yes. Sparty would dig a hole and lay down. Sparty seems too lazy to dig. <laughs> not back then. He know. was a he was thin stud running around yeah. starving to death, begging for scraps and We decided puppies. that <laughs> our dog Sparty was a very horny dog before he got rescued and fixed. <laughs> Look, see? D says true. Yeah. All, all southern true. dogs dig holes. <laughs> it's common sense. Do you dig a hole, southern dog, Sean? Me? Yeah. No, I go in the air conditioning. <laughs> Sean's in love with air conditioning. Who isn't? Oh, oh, New no, Englanders. don't try to throw me under the bus. What did you say to me early this spring? I said, yeah, that was a good idea to get air oh, conditioners. Oh, I'm sorry, baby, change. that I ever doubted your decision to put the air conditioners up in at the time that your supreme intelligence decided to do so. It was the right decision after all. We had a big battle about air conditioners because <laughs> I'm from New England and from poor people who don't believe in being happy and just believe in being Puritans and miserable. And so for me, air conditioning is just like, who even are you? You don't have air conditioning in Maine. And Sean is like, air conditioning is the life and the norm because he's in Florida. And so Shawnee wanted to get air conditioning units or whatever they're called. That's not the real reason I wanted to And I was a big jerk about it. No, I wanted to install them. We already had them because we bought them for our guests. But you didn't want it. You didn't think it was time yet. No, I never think. And he runs it every night. It's so environmentally bad. And like you run it every night. That's because it's summertime. It's Maine. And it's not that hot, buddy. Do you not sleep good under the blankets? I don't sleep well you sleep fantastic no, I you're don't right sleep well. well doesn't even begin to describe how good you sleep don't sleep well because i sleep with you well that doesn't have anything to do with air conditioning okay so <laughs> moving on in a nice calm and collected way things oh. that make your brain go ready well, yeah please you ready yeah so dolphins are super smart right and That's what they say. Speaking of sleeping, right? Like, dolphins are smart. They live in the ocean. There's a lot of predators in the ocean, right? Yeah. So when they go to sleep, do you know what they do? No. Nah. They go into a half sleep, which means that they keep one part of their brain always awake. That's I feel amazing. like that you do that, Sean. That is the same thing you do every night. As soon as you're asleep and my hand touches you, you're like, hey, pal, I'm sleeping. It's like a... Why well, you always got to cross that line? <laughs> you always got to cross the line. Because you're beautiful and I'm a man. No, no. All right. So, yeah. What? But I think you do that. Because, like, Sean will go to sleep um, and, and he'll be like... Because <sighs> he has a... Big old snore going on. Oh, right? come on, man. You have Why a you got to do that? Because it's the truth. I'm all about authenticity. Okay. So, Me anyway, too. <laughs> anyways, so Sean is like, <laughs> right? Yeah. And then you'll, you say so. and then you'll be like, buddy, can you stop snoring? And he'll be like, yes, hold on. I shall stop <laughs> snoring. And he like talks in complete sentences for like a half a sentence. And then boom. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> I like, don't do that. You don't know because you're asleep. Um, <laughs> and I swear, although maybe he does know because he's partially conscious, right? Like he's like. No, I don't remember ever, ever, ever doing that. Yeah, you do that all the time. <laughs> I mean, I know I snore, but I don't remember ever talking to you. And the only. Oh, you talk to me all the time. You talk to me all the time and you instantly go back to sleep. And it's amazing. It's amazing. It's like a superpower. It's just like, I can't even explain. Well, it's already been proven that I've already, I can sleep anywhere, anytime. So. And you're like a dolphin. Yep. As yeah, D yeah. says, who sleeps with one eye open, right? <laughs> you are. You are. John Bell says that no one can sleep over his house, meaning me, because it's like 
Antarctica. He says my house nickname is Antarctica. I kind of hey. like it. I just feel guilty about <laughs> environmental stuff. I'm like the side character. I'm like Kilroy or something. Hey, for any of you that don't know, Carrie wears a fleece year-round. <laughs> What is she that? A fact cold. that blows she, everybody's brain? No, you're you are cold at like seventy degrees. You want a blanket? You're just one of those people that's act. You're just like I like to be cozy. Yeah, I guess so. I'm not very good at the cold. I'm better at the hot. Oh, you love the hot. I that's the, the crazy hot. part about it. You love it. Yes, I'm from New England. I meant what? <laughs> yeah, but you, when you're in the cold, hot, you don't. I don't know. You do like you do like air conditioning more when we're down south, don't you? It's fun. Because then you have an excuse to use all that heavy covers and stuff that you like. Exactly. Like I like to go in bed and I like to have a lot of weight on the covers. Like yeah. I want to feel like there's a lot of like different layers between me and the serial killer. <laughs> Is that why you put up that pillow barrier in the middle of the night between you and I every day? <laughs> <Don't do that. laughs> While I'm talking to you in my sleep, you're sliding <laughs> pillows in between us. <laughs> uh, dude, I'm sorry. We haven't talked much of spoken much about the subject. Matter this is why we should podcast. never be in the same room. However, All right, probably ready? giving you some stuff to think about. Have you oh have you ever heard about the lady in Sweden who lost her wedding ring? And then, like, 20 years later or something, yeah. she plucked a carrot out of her garden, and the ring was, like, around the carrot. That's insane. That's so cool. That's Does like, it make your mind go... No, that's like Disney movie right there. I love that. That's like a princess story. I kind of want to know if she got a new ring. Or, are you ready? Yeah. Um. Did you know that bumblebees... What? Bumblebees... Yeah. All right. Like everybody thinks that, whoa, humans can talk, like hike to the top of Mount Everest, right? Yeah. Top of us die. But like, oh, they hiked all that way up, right? Yeah. But bumblebees can fly up to 29,525 feet, which is taller or higher than Mount Everest. Really? Yeah. What the hell do they want to go up so high for? I have no idea, but they can. That's a long way from the hive and the flowers. I don't, I don't know. Why would they go up there? Maybe just for the thrill of like dive bombing back down. <laughs> like that. Maybe they race. Like five of them get in the line. And another bee's like, ready, set, go. We're going to have to go back to Bigfoot next week. And the first one back to the hive wins. <laughs> what? Do you think <laughs> birds just fly around all day and don't have some fun? No. If I, I was always a bird, imagine they're like all like really super focused on keeping their young safe, finding worms and seeds. Do you think and, teenage birds don't fly around in packs of like three to five and be like, ha let's go play poop on the human, dude? Like serious. I was dating a boy once. Yeah. And he um was intern it was in college and he was uh interning or had a job of some sort in his father's law firm yeah. in manhattan and i'll always remember him being like i had the worst day ever yeah it was my first day at work and yeah. the bird like pooped all over like it went off it got his head oh wow and then like apparently it was like that's a crappy best <laughs> <laughs> it was a poop festival and also got like his suit oh, oh crap yeah. Yeah, I, I, I meant the first one, not the second one. Uh, anyways, one time. That's supposed I to was, be good luck. I was, oh, really? Well, my dad's dead, but he got a lot of good luck one day. We were at a Anglin's Fishing Pier in Fort Lauderdale. He and I fishing. Yeah. And uh, he got pooped on by a sea uh, pelican. Is that a lot of poop? Yeah, it's like two cups of poop. Have you ever noticed we always end up talking about poop? Well, uh, no. What did your father do when two oh, cups he, of poop? Oh, he was, was his typical asinine self and freaked out and cussed up a storm. And then I don't remember. 
Did he have the like? Did he? I have... think we stayed. I think he just wiped it off as best oh. he could. But like, it was in his hair. Oh. Was... No, he was wearing a hat like yours, a ball cap. Yeah. And so it just got like on the very back of his hair. I mean, I think he probably threw the hat away because I think that caught the majority of it. But you know what would have helped him? Uh, what? A vacuum cleaner. Oh, a va- vacuum cleaner? They could have had, like <laughs> all the poop off. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know? Here's another mind blowing fact. That's uh-huh. my segue. Did yeah. you like my segue? My segue was good, wasn't it? It's I want some fucking props. fantastic. All right. Did you know? Mind blowing fact alert. What? The original vacuum cleaners yeah. were so massive. Yeah. That they had to be like pulled from house to house. Yeah. With a horse drawn carriage. I did not know that. What? Is your mind blown? Did you? How about this? And, but yeah. wait, wait, let me finish. Okay. So people, it was such an, an like an interesting thing back then, right? Yeah. That people would gather and watch all the filth being like taken out of your house. Really? Yeah. I couldn't see that. It'd be like vacuum parties. It's like when we all lined up down there by the ball fields for the house that was coming in on a truck. Yeah, kind of, but it wasn't not. a house, but it was a big building. It wasn't that big, but it was a building. Sean is referencing, for those of you who don't live <clears throat> in Bar Harbor, Maine, this past summer, the MRI building for our MRI at our very small 18 bed hospital got shipped in via trucks from Wisconsin and it took forever and the trucks got stuck multiple times and it became this saga that everybody in the town was like oh will it make it where will it get stuck the driver is a god and people started worshiping the truck driver just for like driving the truck um (laughs) and but i mean he did a good job and so then when the mri building finally came into town almost to the hospital people went to the ball field where it was staging and applauded and like it was adorable it was cool yes so So, mind-blowing fact if you're in a small town even an mri building is entertainment there how's that that's good all right let's go back to vacuum cleaners okay if you clean out a vacuum cleaner yeah do you then become the vacuum (gasps) Cleaner. Oh! <laughs> Think about that. Chew on that for a while, kids. Dude, that's a brilliant one. Yeah, I know. I have another one. No, you don't. It's a little sacrilegious. So, if anybody's super religious, I'm just gonna ask you for your forgiveness ahead of time, as uh-huh. well as God's. All right, ready? I'm ready. If you were Jesus, yeah. Do you say, "Oh my God," or "Oh my Dad"? Oh. Uh. I think you probably got to say, oh, my God, man. That was a rhetorical question, but I just felt like I had to answer it anyway. <laughs> it was a rhetorical I, I don't think dad would put up, God would put up oh with that. Oh, my dad. Oh, my dad. OMG. Oh, I'm D. <laughs> Nowadays, that's probably what he would say. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> OMG, don't call me a man. All right, ready? Yeah. So in our culture, yeah, mind blowing. Ready? Ready for your minds to be blown? I'm waiting. I I do feel like I should tell everyone that Cheryl Daly said there's not much to do there in Bar Harbor, Maine, right? What? Kind of. Yeah. It depends. We get excited. I mean, about if things. you live here and you got to work all the time. <laughs> yeah, you're like, ooh, MRI building. <laughs> um. So. You ready for your fact? You ready? Yeah, I'm waiting. All right, ready? Yeah. So, how can we, in the English language, yeah. drink a drink? Yeah. But we don't food a food. Oh. That's... Hey, you want to food some food tonight? <laughs> well, here's what my answer. Uh-oh. Because it just so happens, it's coincidence that the verb is a sound that same as the na- same as the noun for drink. What? Drink to drink. It's the physical action. It just so happens that it actually describes what you're holding in a generic sense. Right, but to food. But food, the action is to eat. Yes. Right. Duh. Right. But. But I I, I didn't make up the word 
just two drink and two eat. I'm not responsible but for this. But wouldn't it be cool? Anomaly. <laughs> hey, babe, you want to go food? Yeah, hey. let's go food. Do you want a food at five or food at seven? You want a food before the podcast or after? I know. It's just like, hey, babe, want to go to bed and put, um, sleep? <laughs> it's it's like the same word. But Why do you always have to cross the line? I'm not crossing any lines. This is not an explicit podcast yet. Yeah. I think that if you just say the word explicit, you get to be really. I don't know. It feels that way. Dang. All right, ready? Yes, I'm ready. Can you die in a living room? Oh, <laughs> I love that one. That's amazing. I love something. Oh, you know, if I was in the other room and I actually had full use of my computer, yes, I true. might have some. Of these as well. <laughs> so you keep on carrying us, baby. I'm tired of carrying us. All right. Hey. What? You ready? I'm ready. When we're dead, and like everybody listening to this is dead, yeah. Facebook and Twitter and StreamYard is going to yeah. just be full of dead people. <laughs> Christopher said, What the hell? What? <laughs> Uh, Christopher Walsh, I'm so sad that this is the first podcast you're dude. probably ever listening to, and I'd like to apologize for that. But yeah, it's not our normal podcast, and we apologize. You don't think so? No. Oh, we'll have to ask the regular audience. I would like to pretend it's a little bit more normal than that, right? All right, ready? Here's another one. Okay. So, all right, so these are, for those of you who are just joining us, Yeah. things that blow your mind. Yeah. Like, we're going to all pretend we're completely stoned and think about these things, right? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Are bathtubs just reverse boats? <laughs> you know, that's like, that's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> they are, in a sense. They're like a boat that sank. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> but not, but kind of. But they're not a boat that could ever float because of <laughs> buoyancy laws and stuff like that. <laughs> Are you hey, ready? I got one for you. Oh, thank God. Why can we transmit information from Mars, <laughs> but some people's Wi-Fi can't reach their bathroom? What? Or we live in downtown, non-major metropolis, Maine, downtown. You can't get any more down than where we live. So basically, and our cell phone signal sucks. So basically, Sean is saying that if you step outside of our house and you don't have the Wi Fi on for your phone, you can't get a call, even though we're in a tourist mecca. Yeah, well, that's why, probably, because we're in a tourist and, mecca. And um, there should be cell. But thank God for the tourists. Thank God for the tourists. So, John Bell said, Sean, Carrie's carrying the show. Tomorrow she has to walk around saying, I am the talent. I really want to say a cuss word right now that begins with the letter F. <laughs> <laughs> but you're probably right, John. It's because I'm not in my usual room. It's because we had technical which is the difficulties. Huh? I said it's because we have technical difficulties, babe. I don't know. Like computers, a piece of crap. And it's not a piece of crap. But apparently Sean wants a new computer for his birthday. No, I don't. That's too much money. No. Thank you, do. I'll take some socks. What? What? You don't want socks, man. Uh, Money-wise, that's about my budget. No. I just finally figured out what I was going to get you for your birthday. Ready? Oh, uh, what? Tell me. No, I can't tell you. All right, ready? Yeah, baby. So why is there a D in fridge, but there's no D in refrigerator? Is that true? Yeah. Dude, you know how to spell refrigerator? Um, well, mo normally. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie's so embarrassed right now, I'll tell you. <laughs> ah, All right. So I can, I'm trying to imagine if the refrigerator Perry's from the Redskins name from the 80s, and I can't. Oh, the refrigerator Perry? Yeah, you remember him? Yeah, he was cool. Yeah. I liked him. All right. <laughs> Baby, do you have anything to say yet? 
Because I'm tired of carrying the show, man. Does anybody else have any mind blown facts? Because I will share them in what? our worst podcast ever. No, it's not the worst podcast worst ever. Podcast ever. I really miss our Bigfoot podcast from last week. What? Oh, that was the worst podcast ever. I'll That's tell you. The best podcast what? ever. Hey, how about this? Hieroglyphics are basically old school emojis. Yeah, they are. <laughs> wow. That's so, profound, man. So did the old did all the old Egyptians write the wrong hieroglyphics for the kids and they're like, that's not what it means. <laughs> they're like, that's not what an eggplant stands for, buddy. <laughs> Mom. Why are you Mom, gonna cross the line? Don't baby? send the eggplant. You just cross the line. <laughs> wow. All right, ready. I got another one for you. Okay, good. Thank so, God. you know, every night, not every night, we don't watch TV much in the summertime. Because um, we just watch reruns of this podcast so we can watch ourselves over and over again. He's such a liar. I pretend that it never existed every time. It's <laughs> um, it like I said. Anyways, if you were to watch television, which we do on occasion, there's a lot of, like, medicine ads. And a lot of them are geared towards people that are just maybe a couple years older than me. So, so they're playing music from like the fifties and sixties in these ads, you know, kind of generational. And, and, and so when we get to be that age, we're going to have something like Despacito in our commercial. Despacito. Psoriasis. <laughs> and everybody will be doing something they enjoy, like playing golf or swimming. Or playing croquet and yeah. doing the Despacito stuff. That's so funny. What? That's so funny. D says you can't lick your elbow, and I guess I can't. <laughs> I'm afraid to show my secret talent on the air. Wait, so. can you do it? Oh, hell no. Try. try. No, I can't you even get try. my elbow. You try. Of my face Use this elbow. I can't even get my People elbow. People can't see that elbow. Look at it. <laughs> Look at this thing though. That Wait, one. hold it. It's what? like a deadly weapon. Look at how monstrously large that thing Stop. is. Stop. <laughs> it's like bigger than my face. It is. So is my fist. When Sean goes through an airport because he's so tall, his elbows are at normal people size, like me, head. And I'm constantly terrified that he's just going to knock somebody out. Well, you know, when you're flinging your backpack on and off, it's yeah, natural. He's throwing scary. an elbow. See, there's my elbow. It's a little dry. A little, Sorry. little elbow. <clears throat> there. But look, compare. Compare elbows. Jeez, baby, you're getting off topic here. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I failed. I Cheryl just... Daly is sad that she missed the Bigfoot episode. Oh, and we are too. Cheryl it's on YouTube. Daly, it's a good that episode. You weren't there. And you Dee said, your nose is always in your eyesight, but your brain kind of ignores it. Is That's everyone looking true. at their nose now? What? Oh, at? I was for a second. Dude. Now I can't stop looking at my nose. Stop. You're being can't. boring right now. Let's see what else we got. My heart hurts. A different he version of you boring. exists in the minds of everyone you know. Oh, we about a different yeah, yeah we did it's pretty cool isn't i'm it? a villain in many people's minds uh so am i yeah you definitely are hey what you don't have to agree <laughs> some people yeah. think i'm very very chill and some people think i have no chill at all steve boucher and that's all right he knows you got you okay. how about this all right when ready. we're young we sneak out of the house to go to parties. Oh, this is so true. When we're our age, we sneak out of the party to go home. I do that all the time. Yeah. It's called ghosting nowadays. I ghost like, like Casper. I am the Casper of all <laughs> parties. That's your new nickname, baby, Casper. Yeah, probably. And when I tell everybody at poker about it, they're going to all get it and laugh. They will. Cause I'm real. I don't like. I don't like saying goodbye because I always feel like it's calling attention to myself. I know. <laughs> D said, "Or oh, you just don't show up." <laughs> <laughs> D is a woman of my heart. 
She tries, but I always force her, almost yeah. always force her to go. Pretty much every time I have to go somewhere, here, random fact, that's not going to blow your mind. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, anxiety, 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 anxiety. And Sean's like, shut up. You know, I feel like you've literally made up arguments just to try to get out of going places yeah. before. Yeah. And I've paid the price. Because you can't argue with me without me being the bad guy. But that's all right. You're hurting we my probably heart. Still win, didn't we? Anakin, you're what? breaking my heart. You're breaking my heart, Anakin. All right, ready? I don't get. Is that a Star Wars reference? Oh man. Sorry, my That's inner right. geek came out. What? My inner geek. You don't came. have any geek. Yet. I have a lot of inner geek. <laughs> <laughs> that one's pretty good, right there. All right, you ready? Yeah. If you're waiting for the waiter, aren't you the waiter? Yeah. I hate the. I hate waiting for the waiter person. The server. Mm, server. Server doesn't seem nice either, though. What? I think there needs to be a better job. Hey, D, got my reference. Um, I think there needs to be a better title for, like, server. You call me Darth Vader? Like, Gary. Yes, I was. I am your father. That would be so That's creepy. Disgust. So creepy. You're the uh -oh. opposite of my little heart. Look at my computer. <gasps> Here, show everybody. Sean's oh my computer, God. which we I... were having issues with oh! earlier. Has completely died. I, I had stop moving the screen. I had it online for my reference material. Now, oh my god, baby, I think you killed it. Oh, I told you I needed a new computer. All right, there's his birthday. If anybody wow. would like to donate to our GoFundMe slash Kickstarter, I need a hundred thousand dollars new computer. We put a little link up. <laughs> yeah, won't be all good. <laughs> <laughs> you have a piece of paper. Go off the paper. Oh, Go to school. Man. You can do it. Oh, well, this is a kind of stupid, easy one. Cinderella. If her outfit was supposed to disappear at midnight, why did her shoe not go away, too? Huh? If I were that into a book, that would be such a plot hole. I'd call you on that one, baby. Every editor I've ever had would call me on that one. That's so unfair. Also, well, wow, this is stupid. Never mind. But I'm going to read it, cause, but it's stupid. Also, if Cinderella's shoes fit perfectly to her feet, why did one fall off in the first place? What? Shoes fall. It said, if her shoes fit perfectly to her feet, why did one fall off in the first place? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense either. No, because people's shoes, and I'll tell you what. Back in the time of Cinderella, shoes didn't fit all that great on your feet. These, the asked that question. What? One of the questions you just asked earlier on a podcast. What? I forgot. I think it might have been the Cinderella one. Oh, I bet she did. Because she's brilliant. I know. She's always hey, brilliant. can a blind person see their dreams? I have no idea. I think. I, I don't know. Because how can you relate it to specific things if you don't know what they look like? I'm sorry, but Dee just had the funniest thing ever. So Dee's like, so the prince couldn't couldn't find could find her since he didn't remember her face. Typical dude. Yeah, I'm like, like seriously. But when he got that sh shoe on her he's like, he sure knew what her boobs looked like, 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 didn't he? <laughs> right chick right here. This is the right one. He knew it before the shoe was even on. <laughs> Like, how did he not recognize her? That's why. Seriously. Right there. Did you ever watch the one? It's like the, eyes up here. Eyes, eyes, eyes up, here. up here. Prince, eyes up here. Eyes up here. I have a face. My computer has cracked the bed, though, baby. Baby, we're going to have to get you something new. Ooh. Oh, you can use my own in the bedroom. <laughs> I have a computer in the bedroom. <laughs> you guys really, heard really that cute. right there. I can use her own in the bedroom. That's a lifetime commitment of consent. Oh, I can't believe I said that. I, I can't believe I said that either. I'm I sorry. I I'm apologize. Sorry. Yeah, man. this whole thing. I'm turning into freaking like Bobcat Goldberg, Larry the Cable Guy here. I apologize. You are Larry. I apologize. Are you ready? Ready? Yeah, ready? Um, some of these beautiful ones, by the way, are from BuzzFeed.com, and all the links are on the podcast notes. Yeah. Blah blah blah. But this one is one of my favorites. Why is it called a building if it's already built, man? <laughs> we're going we're gonna to call it a built? <laughs> it's a building until it's done. Well, it's a no, built. but why? It's stupid. No, that's a good one. Uh. 
<laughs> All right, here's another one. Ready? All right. Why do we get in the car, but we get on the bus? Well, you know that's that's a good one, but it's because you slide your ass into the car and you walk into the bus, basically. Oh. You just proved how smart you are, babe. I'm not smart, baby. No? No, I'm tall. And, you know, when you, what? Your, your woman drives a Mini Cooper and you go, I don't it's have like, that anymore. It's like Dad. throwing yourself on the ground and hoping you hit the seat so you don't end up in the driveway pavement. It's so far down there. It's like sitting down in a beach chair. Dude, I feel like you You know the sit- ones where the webbing's only three inches off the sand? That's what the Mini Cooper was like? For me? I feel like you fit in the Mini oh, better no, than the Super. I fit fine. I fit fine. It was a problem of getting in. Going from, well, what's my butt at? Like, you know, three and a half, three foot, three inches, say. And down to like eight inches. That's a long drop. I love the Mini Cooper. Oh, I like driving it. It was fun. It was like driving a little go kart on the highway. It was like highway. an island almost. It was like yeah. driving a go kart. Yes. Yeah, oh, we must be the most boring podcast host ever. I'm so sorry. But you know what? I've already established. I just read this article about all the things you're not supposed to do during a podcast, and one of the things was like, don't engage too much with your audience during the live stream. F that. I know. That's I'm all I about thought. the audience. I don't care about anybody else. I care about the people who are here. Jeez. Dan. Man. Bah. So far, I've gotten cards from a listener. A promise of a free guided fishing trip next time I go down to Florida from a female semi professional 12 year old angler. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing great. I, hey, look at my computer screen. At, oh, Sean's it was flashing computer. a folder and a question mark. I know uh, your computer is just oh white my blankness. god, there's so Yay, much Max. stuff on there. Hopefully, you'll That's be able to recover it, babe. Anymore. I would just shut it down now, but not during this. All right, you ready for another profound thought? I am. All right, why do you bake cookies, but you cook bacon? <laughs> I don't know. Really? Everything's yeah. cooking, isn't it? I don't know. That's the point, man. If a word is misspelled in the dictionary, this is a direct quote, how would we know? Well, back in the day, I'm only one dictionary. That might have been true. But nowadays, you got to have at least 50% agreeance on the spelling for that to be the one. I don't know. Huh? I don't know. I think that's the rule. You think so? Yep. All right. Ready? I think this is the one. Oh, wait. D said, why did Snow White just think it was okay to go into a random house and clean up? I gotta be honest, I'm not familiar with the Snow White tale. What? Yeah. What? How do you not know Snow White? I can't even comment. Like, seriously, the only thing I've ever seen Snow White and the Seven Dwarves doing is involve sex, so... You watch porn about Snow well, White? Well, I didn't look it up, but I've never read Snow White or seen the movie. You never saw the that movie. That Disney put out is what I mean. Yeah, they were all putting out. <laughs> I don't know. Just maybe, sure. maybe she had a cleaning gig and she just did the wrong house by mistake. I've heard of that happening before, actually. It happens all the time <clears throat> in Bar Harbor. So... There is many a tale in Bar Harbor, our vacation community, of a cleaner. How much do cleaners get? 30 bucks an hour? 25 yeah, At least $30 an hour. Accidentally going to the wrong house and cleaning it. Yeah. I really wish a cleaner would come into my house. <laughs> and, and accidentally clean it? Yeah. Man, that would be a boatload of free money right there. I would be so happy. Woo. If they could just like clean the grout in the shower... We just have to give them like five hundred dollars anyways if they clean the whole house. I would feel so guilty, honestly. <laughs> I would be like, oh my gosh. Um uh, Nancy said that it was because she loved their doc and that's why she did it. And D said you gotta see it at least once. Yeah, man, you should see Snow White. All right. It's well, one feels night cultural. We'll watch Snow White, dude. You can just watch it with no. me. No, 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 no. Yeah. You gotta watch it with me. You help explain stuff to me. If baby. Chris Walsh is still here, maybe you could watch it with him because I think he would be you, pretty you know funny. You how I fail to get things sometimes. 
No, I'm the one who doesn't get things. Not when it comes to movies or shows. Well, no, because I'm all right with that. Ready? Yeah. All right. Do you want to leave everybody on this one? Do what? Do you want to leave everyone on this one? What do you mean leave them? Well, it's been an hour. In the podcast? Yeah. You're trying to break my heart. Anakin, you're breaking my heart. Well, Nancy Corliss said it's because Snow White loved her doc. I just said that one. You said that one? Well, that's the one that's up. I know, man. Oh. But it's okay. Nancy deserves double Oh, rocks. I thought you meant, do I want to leave it, man? And I do I want to leave it. <sighs> no. I'm sorry. I really was paying attention. All right. You know how you say God bless you when you sneeze? Yeah. What happens when God sneezes? Then you say, God bless the whole world. No, what does God say? Does he say, Excuse me. God bless myself? Or Sorry for like, messing up your crap. <laughs> there's a whole bunch of snot down there. Oh, the line again, Ferrer. The line. Hey, what did I say earlier that you posted on Facebook or Twitter? Uh, do you really want to talk about that? What? I, it's right there. He said, all right, so we were just hanging out, and Sean said, I don't. All right, so sometimes I forget that Sean is from the South because in my head, sometimes I forget that Florida is in the South because I just think of snow. We had this and I, we've had this discussion many times, and I don't think, oh, Florida is South, right? Yeah. I think it's all misplaced New Englanders and people from the Midwest. Anyways, so Sean today goes, I don't need never know. I'm Say like, that one more time, no accent. He said, I don't need, never, no. <laughs> and my brain just exploded because I had no idea what he was saying. Yeah. And it was just so southern. So southern. But did you know what I meant? No. I said, I don't remember. I don't need, never, know means I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. That's what it meant to me at the time. I don't remember. I don't mean really never know. <laughs> Baby girl. <laughs> you asked me a specific question. And that's what flew out of my mouth. <laughs> John always calls me baby girl as well. I do. Which all our friends make fun of. Yes. Except for one friend who thinks it's adorable. But the rest of them are like, oh my Is God. Is that a female? Yeah, it's yeah. Alyssa. Right. So, like, <laughs> you're all out of Alyssa. Um, but, yeah, there's a lot of Southernisms that randomly come out in Sean when you're not looking. When you least expect. When you least expect. I don't need never know. That's right. <laughs> oh, before we go. Yeah. Just for like a group think, think moment. Yeah. We went and looked at a house yesterday. <laughs> wait, don't laugh. Don't laugh. I'm going to see if I can share the photo. No, yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on. Keep talking. So, you ever seen that movie, The Money Pit? <laughs> all right. So apparently we're this not going like to buy the, this house. This is the house. You took pictures of it? I took there. pictures. How about that one? That's the one I'm going to show. All right. <laughs> so hopefully the screen share is going to work, right? Wait. There's not a speck of furniture in this house. There's no furniture There's in this house. It hasn't been lived in for like 10, 10 years. years. It's this gorgeous brick house. And I'm like, we could make this into a writing retreat if it's residentially zoned, if it's zoned the, the proper Properly. way. Right. And like, it could be the most amazing, cool thing. We could have like classes on like bushwhacking and write bushwhacking sounds naughty, but like <laughs> writing and all this kind of stuff. And like, it would be so fun. But then, if you can see this, hopefully you can see this. Let me see. I don't know. Here there we go. Um, can you see that? <laughs> can you see that right there? This was on the door to the bedroom that led up to the attic. <laughs> yeah. Like, look at that thing. It was all right. So you, you go up. I don't the know stairs. how it's fastened to the door. It's like gl super glued or something. You, you go it was up. Immovable. <laughs> you go up to the stairs to the second floor, right? And then right at the top of the stairs, there's a store in a very small room with some bookshelves built in. And then to the right, the stairs to the attic where you can see through the roof. But that's okay because we knew it was a fixer upper. But there's this cross with like this, if you can see it, Jesus is on this cross of this room. And he's been hanging there for a a decade. At least a decade. A decade. And we don't know what that means. 
They probably put that up there just before they moved out, you know. It's freaking me out. And the original owner of this house, obviously Steve, our realtor, is not on the thing anymore. No, he's not. He's not talking. He's but bailed. like, yeah, he bailed, so he doesn't know that we're not probably going to get the house. This. Yeah. Anyway, so like the original owners of not the original owners, but the last owners of this house, which was built in like 1880. He built a giant cross on yeah, the yeah. hill in this town called Lemoyne, Maine. It's still there. That is still there. That you see for miles and Jeez. miles and miles and miles around. And I gotta tell you, I freak now. So he left the cross on this. We probably weren't even supposed to open that door. I feel like we weren't. I we feel like we released something horrible. We probably released all because we left that attic door open, the bedroom door open. It's flowing right out. Yeah, the evil's out. all out now. But it's so funny because the book I just wrote called Saint yeah. has this cross on the door in which the evil spirit of MDI um is contained. MDI is the island where we live. And, like, it just felt really friggin' weird. Well, you know, it did. <laughs> and it was a mind-blowing fact in real life where I was like, oh, wow. Well, we can still buy it if I, we want to. We could still buy it. We could make a GoFundMe. Buy the writing retreat house. <laughs> GoFundMe. <laughs> we need a GoFundMe. I'm kidding. What? About the GoFundMe? Yeah. Oh, you are? You know I'm getting. Yeah, I do. All right, before we go, Dee yeah. said that she heard a story on the radio where this woman said these landscapers came and built a deck, but she what? didn't pay for it, but she <laughs> let them do it anyway. <laughs> That's days of work. <laughs> That's funny. Can you imagine? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. I wonder what happened after they realized their mistake. I know. That's crazy. I know. Oops, free deck. You ready? Yeah. Rat, this is the last one, right? All right, last one. All right. Good. Do you think it's called sand because it's between the sea, S E A, and the land, L E A A N? Oh. It's like an original like ship. Sea land you. sand. I got you. Yeah, you think? Possibly, but that's only pertinent to the beach, really. Yeah. Beach sand. Yeah, beach sand. <laughs> Dee said that the lady let them finish it, but didn't say a word, and she pretended like she wasn't home. I would what? totally do that. <laughs> I pretend like I'm not home all the time. Oh, yeah, she does. Oh, yeah, I do. Somebody knocks on the door. And I talked to the UPS guy today. You talked to him? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know he's going on vacation next week. You do? Yeah. Was that a talk or a text? I talked. Oh, okay. I don't have the UPS guy's phone number. I, you better not. I was just joking. Although he is quite tan with good quads. <laughs> All right. Anyway. What? Good quads. He has good quads. Oh, he's a UPS man, dude. Do they all have good quads? He's doing stair steppers all day long, getting up and down out of that truck. Oh, that's And walking true. up and down people's porches and decks. Oh, that's so true. Yep. Who knew? Hey, everyone. We'll have a better podcast next week. What? I really enjoyed this. I know you did, babe, but it wasn't like super cohesive. That's okay. It's called Loving the Strange. And it was a strange We named podcast. it that for a reason. It always gives us an out for something. <laughs> I'm sorry we sucked today. I hope we didn't really suck. We kind of sucked. Although it kind of sucks and my computer's apparently dead. Yeah, it's bad. Whew, I don't even think about it. I do think we need a GoFundMe for you. <laughs> oh my God. Anyways, no, think about I it. hope you have a better weekend than I'm mine starting out. Oh, look at you. What are you doing? I saw this. I'm getting hot thinking about all the money, all the information I just lost. Money you just lost? Yeah, money and information. It'll be all right, baby. No, it won't. It'll be okay. I won't be able to recover that crap. It'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for listening. Thank you so much. Thank you for hanging out. Do not Thank worry you, Dee, for saying it was fun. At all. I'll be all right. You won't be all right. But he's going to pretend because that's how cool and stoic he I'll is. Be all right. Thank you. I hope Thank you all you. have a great weekend. We love you. Thank you for listening to Loving the Strange. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, embrace the strange. 
New episodes every Saturday. Live streaming Fridays. Go get your strange on, friends. Thanks for listening.